What's up YouTube? This is Damon aka the world's worst magician and today I'll be bringing you a look at Coin On Call by Al Jazz Sun. Um, so if you're not familiar with this one, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can check it out. But essentially what you're doing is you show the spectator a penny and you actually take a picture of them holding the penny with their own cell phone. Then you put the penny in their hand and have them close their fist and when they open it, the penny has now become a dime, and not only has the coin changed in their hand, but when they go to the picture on their cell phone, it's actually them holding a dime. So let me repeat that because your mind probably just completely shut off. You have them hold a penny and you take a picture of it. Then you have them put the penny in their hand, the penny, when they open it has now become a dime and when they look at the picture on their cell phone it has now become a dime as well so sounds too good to be true doesn't it um so yeah as always let's start with the negatives um <clears throat> i guess the biggest negative is if and it does there are two different versions so i'll start with that piece as well uh there is a gimmick that they send you and then there's also a non-gimmicked version that they show you kind of how to make your own so to me it says no gimmick but you're still kind of using a gimmick um so we'll start with the gimmicked version everything is super cool super clean uh through the piece where you put it in their hand um when you put the coin in their hand there is a large possibility of failure. <laughs> so again, this is going to depend on you and your placement of the coin and knowing your audience, what they're going to do with it. They give you, you know, some tips to make sure that it does not fail. But uh, right when, you know, they put it in their hand, there is a possibility of failure right there. So wanted to get that out in the open. Uh, the negative for the, uh, version that they show you how to make your own is that <laughs> to me it's it's terrible i mean i'm not gonna lie it's terrible um in their heads it should work but logically it it cannot work with the way that they show you and i i wish i could tell you what it was so that you could understand what i'm talking about but when you see it you'll probably have the same reaction as me and say <laughs> what no way um so yeah, I, I don't like their ungimmicked version at all. Um, I, I feel like it won't work. Now, you may be able to get it to work. And if, if it's kind of dark or, you know, you do this in a bar or something like that, I think you could make it pass. But daytime, somebody who's intelligent, somebody who's seen U.S. currency before, um, no, the non-gimmick version is, is not a good idea. So... <clears throat> Anyways, those those are the negatives, just that there is a huge chance of failure when it's in their hand. Um, but like I said, it, it all depends on how you place the coin in their hand. Um, and the, the non-gimmicked version is uh, no. Uh, I also, the instruction was uh, it's kind of painful to watch. I mean, uh, I just think the teaching style could have been a little more upbeat, a little more fluid, get you the information faster. Um, instead of, it, it took a really long time to get through that video. And <laughs> for me, uh, it was painful. Anyway, sorry, been rambling about negatives and you're probably thinking, wow, I hate this trick. Uh, it's not like that. Just watch your handling. Uh, use the non-gimmick version at your own risk. Now to the positives. This is going to be a mind-blowing effect because not, not only are you taking a coin and doing, you know, you're turning it into another coin in their hand. You're also showing them a picture of them holding this coin when they know for a fact that they were holding a penny earlier. Uh, will it look exactly how it looks in that video? Absolutely. Um, so if you can get it down, watch your handling, definitely practice this with uh, different types of people to make sure that when you put the coin in their hand, you're going to get the reaction that you're looking for. Um, and also work with different hand types and sizes just to make sure that when you place that coin, you know, you're doing it correctly. But if you pull it off, this is going to blow their mind beyond measure. 
and you can give them the coins. Uh, so <laughs> you are going to be, you know, losing a little bit of money, <laughs> a little, every time you do this trick if you hand out the coins as a souvenir. Um, that's the way that they spin it. I would tell you, don't don't hand them out. I mean, give it to them so that they can verify, hey, these are real coins, but um, then take it back and do the trick because to me, the best souvenir that they're gonna have is that picture. Because like I said, you take a picture of them holding the coin with their own cell phone. So now they'll be able to show their friends and say, man, it was crazy, this guy had me hold a penny and if you look at this picture, I'm clearly holding a dime, but I know I had a penny. So that, <laughs> That effect is really powerful uh, in itself, and that is a great keepsake to let them have. So I would say keep your change, uh, just give them the picture, and um, you know if they have a cell phone with a stylus, you could actually sign that picture or something like that on their cell phone, which you know that's even cooler, right? I mean that's a great keepsake. So all in all, um, what are are there any angle problems? Uh, yes, you you need to make sure your spectators are directly in front of you. Uh, I would not have anybody to the sides or behind you. Like I said, I would have them directly in front of you, and I would try to keep it down to two people, maybe three people, but you, you don't want a big crowd on this one um, just because there is a little bit of angle sensitivity. Uh, as far as the reset, that's instant and totally up to you. So um, watch those things, and you should be okay. And uh, would I recommend it? Uh, yes, I would, well, with a lot of practice. I, this is not one of those ones that I, I would say that you could just grab it and go. I would practice this a lot in a mirror, make sure that it looks correct, make sure that everything's all right. And then there is um, a coin maneuver that you're going to have to learn. So if you're not comfortable with coin magic, definitely practice, practice, practice uh, before you try to put this in. But once you get this down, it is completely mind blowing and you will, you know, you'll gain fans. <laughs> so uh, I recommend it in that respect. If you're not familiar with coin magic, uh, it's definitely going to take you just a little bit to learn it, get the moves down, um, and that sort of thing. But the payoff is totally worth it to be able to not only change one coin into the other, but change a picture that was taken of somebody. That's super powerful. Uh, so, yeah, I believe that's everything I got for you on this one. And uh, that has been your look at Coin On Call by Al Jazz Sun. All right, see ya. Well, I hope you liked that review. And if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right, see ya.